This is a quick tutorial on how to run a form emailer script to send feedback and emails directly from a spreadsheet. So as a teacher, I use spread or I use forms all the time to collect information from students, also to use them as online rubrics. So a lot of times I collect students well, all the time, I collect students' writing via Google Docs. And so as I'm reading their writing, I am filling out an online rubric. So this is an example of actually an oral presentation rubric that I put together when students were giving a, an oral based on a summer reading assignment they had done. So I'm able to evaluate each of the parts of their oral presentation, give them an overall score, and my writing rubrics look very similar. And then they click, or I click Submit, if students are submitting information, they click submit, and then all of their information shows up here in the back end in a spreadsheet. So what you wanna do if you're going to give them email feedback directly from the spreadsheet is click insert, select script at the bottom. You wanna search form emailer. Click install. And you'll see this big red scary window, click Authorize. Close these windows. And then you'll see on your form it says Form Emailer. And you want to click that and install it on this particular spreadsheet. And then you'll want to go back to sheet number one to keep my students information um, and then once you have it installed you want to click settings and this is where you can tailor what the email will look like for your students so sender name is where I would usually put my email address and then I'm gonna select email which I don't have on here um, let's click let's close this for a second so in a new column, if you didn't collect students' email, you'd want to have an email field. That's one of the fields you definitely need. So this is an old, uh, this is an old form that I use. So I'd click email, make it a required question, click done, save. And then on the end here, I should have email. So ideally there would be an email address in here because clearly you're gonna to wanna to send it to their email. So when you're creating your forms, I always suggest using having your students include their names and have an email field. That way you can email them from the form. So now we're gonna select settings again. The first thing I do is unclick HTML. I would copy and just delete that. Again, I want them to know that it's coming from me. And then here's where I would insert their email. I'm gonna give it a title. And then once I have their name, I'm actually just going to select overall score. So I say your overall score out of four is, and then I can insert that overall score right there. So it'll pop up for that individual student. And then I can also include my comments. So I have a column that's just comments. So then I would save and close that. And so it'll insert this overall score for the student. It will include their comments, which I've kept here in this um, particular, this, this column. And then when I want to send them the email, I just click process manually. And then I would put in the number of the row that I want to send the email to. Now I'm not sure if this will send because I didn't have emails in there. 
but it's processed successfully. You can also CC yourself as the sender of the email. So the first time you do it, you can actually see what the email looks like. And that's how you install Form Emailer and send emails directly from the spreadsheet.